Hey, what's going on guys? Jack Reeve, Talk Nerd City here, back for a, another video. It's game day, it's England game day, it's Columbia in the last 16. I am nervous, I must admit. I said, didn't I, in one of these videos before the World Cup, I think it was the day before the whole World Cup kicked off, that I was excited. But something about this World Cup has just been so brilliant. Even last night with that Japan-Belgium game, you know, it had everything. This World Cup has had everything. It's had upsets, great goals, high-scoring games, England doing okay. Of course, though, it all comes down to tonight, really, against Colombia. Our toughest test yet. Um, let's see what we've got. Let's see what the boys have got. But I'm confident. Fans bet as well are doing some really cool bets. They've got a ton of England specials on, as well as all your normal England bets. The ones I'm backing is Harry Kane to score, England to win, um, and both teams to score. That was 13 to 2. It's now 8 to 1. That's absolutely lovely. And also, just to be safe, because I'm pretty sure this will happen, Harry Kane to score. England to win was 2 to 1. Now 3 to 1. Go sign up to Fans Bet. Loads of great odds. All the England specials on there. Um, when you sign up, make your team Norwich City and make your um, partner talk Norwich City. That means all losing bets go towards Norwich City fan initiatives. Lovely stuff. Any questions, let me know down in the comments section below. As you've seen from this title though, getting away from England, Norwich City, I think, have made an absolutely stunning signing in the form of Felix Paslak. Now, this man has some serious pedigree for a 20-year-old. He made his Borussia Dortmund debut at 17. He scored in the Champions League. He's made 14 Bundesliga appearances, represented Germany at youth level. Spent a year on loan at TSG Hoffenheim. They finished third in the Bundesliga and he's now come to Norwich City. There's also a fantastic quote from Jurgen Klopp which reads, I could start crying knowing that I won't be coaching this guy anymore. That was when Jurgen Klopp left Borussia Dortmund and that was speaking about Felix Paslak. So who is he? Well, he's a right-sided player, mainly sort of a right wing back slash right winger. Similar kind of form to Ben Marshall, I guess. That kind of says to me, I said it in the last video, a few of you disagreed. I think Pinto might be on his way out. I think he might be. It would, it would make sense having signed two players very similar to Pinto. Let's not forget we also have Yannick Wilschke. It probably also means the end of his Norwich City career. But we do now have quite a few right-sided players. I know Pinto was the captain last season. But if you're Stuart Webber, you're probably thinking, well, he's probably worth a couple of million. Wages off the books. We've got Paslak in. We've got Marshall in. I think we're going to be playing five at the back. We'll win backs next year. I think that Pinto might be on his way out. But this is a, a, a fantastic sign. It now means we've signed three players in three days. I think things might probably start to slow up now. I suspect we might sign another striker. But signing Puki, Marshall and Paslak, they're three players who have something to prove, which is good, but have also done it before and we know they've got talent. I'm really, really excited by this. And, and more importantly, I'm more excited about the players in which we're signing and the system in which we're building. Last summer was, was all a bit mental, 40-odd players out and in. Um, Stuart Webb was having to basically clear the books just to make sure um, you know, the finances were okay. We're in a little bit more of a structured situation now with that Madison money and that Murphy money. It means that we can go out and really try and create a system. Of course, this talking has to be done on the pitch, but what I'm seeing off the pitch is hugely promising. Does that mean I think we'll get top six next season? No, it probably doesn't change my mindset too much, but we are going in the right direction, it feels like anyway. The first pre-season is this Friday against Kingsland Town. It's never, you can never read that much into pre-season games, but it will be nice to see, well, first of all, that new kit in action, which is always quite nice to see. And just to see some of the new faces, Pookie, McLean, I'm excited to, to see. I've heard good things about him. Leitner as a permanent Norwich City player. Paslak, Marshall. I'm excited. Let me know your guys' thoughts on Paslak. Are you excited about this signing? Sign up the fans bet. Links in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.